Hello everybody and welcome to Sessions with Cray. Um, basically, Sessions with Cray is going to be one of the side episodes to the T. Um, basically, what I'll be doing is just recording, you know, just talking while I'm getting ready for work or if I'm getting ready or just whatever, you know, just to have a, a sidebar conversation with you guys. Um, so today, uh, I'm actually getting ready for work. As you can see, my hair is tied up. I've actually been doing what I call wrap it up week. I've been leaving my hair and I'm just gonna just put a wrap on. So let's get to it. So this week, um, what I wanted to talk about was what we discussed on the show actually. So this week, if you watch this week's episode of The Tea, if you didn't, stop this video, go watch it right now. Um, what we talked about was support. And I needed more to say, but we, I just couldn't say all of it and I couldn't think of everything I wanted to say. So I'm going to say it right now while I'm getting ready. So I want, like I said, I wanted to elaborate more on it. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my head wrap today because I've been doing epic failures all week. But, um, so what I wanted to discuss this week was, you know, to add on to the support. Um, and I feel as though some people confuse, ooh, some people confuse support. Give me one moment. I feel like some people confuse support for something like financial support like I just feel like instead of giving me the support you think I'm like people will be like I need you to support me essentially that's the beginning of the conversation I want you to support me or support me and the first thing that person is going to ask you is well how much money do you need and it's like but I'm not asking you for any money I'm asking you to support me what's the problem so you know that's like the initial conversation that you people have and it's like listen this is not what i mean when i say i want support from um support from you i'm not saying i want financial support i'm saying that i want you to support me by being there for me or just being the wind beneath my wings being in my corner, however you want to phrase it. So I think when people ask for support, like I said, people automatically think they're talking about financial support and that may not necessarily be it. So that's where people get a little confused and they're like, well, I don't want to support. And it, it's, just a, it's just a lot to be dealing with. So, you know, I just wanted to touch on that. Um... Sometimes we just want emotional support. We just want to know that somebody's going to be there for us and kind of just, you know, they're going to be in our corner and support us, whether it, you know, just be there, you know, help us. You know, sometimes when we go into new situations, it's very scary and we want to know that somebody's going to be there for us. We want to know that they're there with us doing this. And I feel that also when you say um, support, they're like, well, can't you do this on your own? And it's like, yeah, I can do things on my own. Yeah, I can do, let's say, for instance, an interview. Let's say you have an interview. Or let's say you're doing something else. Whatever it may be. And the person's like, well, you can't do this by yourself? Well, yeah, I just want your support. Like, going to the doctor. Some people want moral support if they're going to get news. You know, you might want to find out if you're pregnant. You might want to find out if you have... If you don't have a disease or have a disease, you want moral support, somebody there with you to, like, kind of be there and get you through whatever. So, I feel that people are like, well, can't you do it on your own? And it's like, yeah, I can. I'm independent. But that's independence. Independence and support are two different things. Independence, like, you don't need, you don't, you're not dependent on somebody to... I feel like independent, I can't really explain it, but independence and support are just two different things. Independent is like, you can't go to the bathroom by your, like, you, you can go to the bathroom by yourself. You can do your basic necessities by yourself. And also, you can go, 
just live your life by yourself, but you also want support. You know, Beyonce is an independent woman. I hate to put use her because I'm not really a big Beyonce fan, but she's an independent woman. But I know she wants to support her family when she does certain things. So just because a person is independent doesn't mean they um, they don't want support. The next thing that I wanted to talk about was actually pain and how we get over pain. So, um, why is it that, this is the point I actually want to make, why is it that when it comes to pain, the instant thing is just to get over it? And what I mean is if, let's say you had a breakup or let's say you had a fight with your mom or whatever, the answer to it is, well, just get over it and move on with your life. But that's not necessarily the easiest thing to do all the time. I'm going to need my head wrap to like sit still. I can't be dealing with this. I'm trying to like live my life over here. So anyway, there we go. That looks better. So yeah, this is my head wrap look. Actually, this is a piece of fabric that I brought from the fabric store. So there's like mad strays. I'm actually looking into getting it hemmed because I actually want to wear it different ways. So I want to be able to get it hemmed and... I'm going to be looking into that soon. If you know anybody who hems, let me know. Send them my way. So, yeah, I wanted to talk about why is it so e Why is it so hard? Why is it so easy for people just to say, get over it? And that can't just be how you live your life. When you get a cut, do you just, does it just heal right away? Does it just go away as soon as you get it? No, because you are not Wolverine <laughs> and you're not a vampire. So when you get cut, it takes time to heal. You have to nurse it, you have to cleanse it, make sure you have all the bacteria out of it from the cut, and then you have to put ointments on it to get it to heal correctly. And then, you know, so you don't have scarring, you have to apply maybe cocoa butter or whatever anybody uses to get the scar to go away. Now, that applies to emotional pain as well. Some people get over pain faster than others, but everybody in the world is different. So just because one person got through it doesn't mean another person's going to get through the same thing. And also with that being said, you don't know anybody's personal struggle. Somebody can show you one thing like, oh yeah, it was just a bad breakup, I got over it, blah, blah, blah. But they didn't, they're just telling you that because to make themselves feel better at the end of the day. So... You can't compare. And, you know, they say, well, how come so-and-so was able to get through this and conquer and move on and be successful? But you don't know what they go through. You know, um, these I think we look at it as, like, triumph stories. But people can have the greatest warrior story, but you don't know what that person is going on in the inside. People can be one way in front of you and another way behind closed doors. So you need to be not so eager to have the person get over it. you know excuse me you can't be so eager for the person to get over it because it's not always they're not always going to be like well and then every cut is different just like every pain is different a paper cut be gone in like a week so let's say you and your you and a friend got into an argument. You guys might get over in a week. So let's say I had to blow out this candle because it was the flame. I was like, I like to burn candles. This one is actually Yankee candle. This is juicy. Ooh, I spilled some wax. Juicy pineapple. Ooh. Well, it's okay. So, ooh. so um, yeah, I had to let that out because that flame was crazy. But, um, so, back to the cuts. Um, you know, you get a paper cut, you know, you and your best friend fight, it'll be over in a week. But let's say you get, let's say you step on a piece of glass, and you get the glass out your foot. But let's say it stays in there for a while because you're being stubborn, <laughs> and you don't want to get it out, you have to go to the doctor to get it removed. Now, let's say you have something that's a deeper wound. Let's say you and your boyfriend broke up, or you and your girlfriend broke up, and you need counseling. In some sense, you might need a night out with the girls. You might need, um, I don't know, a wine session. Some people might even need therapy if it was that deep. You know, some people go through deep depressions. So you might need to deal with that in a deeper way. But let's say, let's say you have a pimple. Let's say you have acne. And some people have acne scars that are there for 
they're pretty permanent. You can get rid of them, but they're pretty permanent for the most part. So with acne scars, um, you know, like I said, they're there and they're visible. So let's say um, you had a troubled childhood and something bad happened in your childhood. For some people, that can stay with them for the rest of their lives. Some people have acne scars for the rest of their life. Some people are able to use ointments and creams and take care of their skin, and it pretty much goes away. It'll After a while, it'll be gone, and you never have to worry about them again. So you just have to understand that everybody is different, everybody's situation is different, and you can't just say get over it. And the last point I wanted to make, continuating with the get over it, um... I think that's an old school way of thinking. Um, and I know because I have on my, I have pretty old school people in my life. And I think that when they were growing up that it was like, well, this happened, so you have to get over it. This happened, well, you have to get over it. And it's like, that's not necessarily the best way to deal with it. Because at the end of the day, you keep sweeping all that dirt under the rug. You're still going to have dirt on the rug. And one day, eventually, you're going to have to throw it in the garbage so you can't keep sweeping all your pain under the rug and saying get over it you have to actually sit out and talk about it and it takes nothing to talk about a situation I'm not gonna say it takes nothing it's easy just to heal and move on to heal and when I mean heal that can be anywhere from two days to five years you need to be able to heal properly because that's gonna affect everything so like I said the three main points that I made today were Support doesn't always mean financial support. We need emotional support as well. And just because you are independent or a person is independent doesn't mean that they don't need support. And point number two was that get over it needs to be a thing of the past. We can't just get over it. Getting over situations is not something that... Is just something light. You have to, you can't take something like that lightly. You, lightly. you have to move on and heal properly. And then the last point is we need to get out of that old school way of thinking that getting over it is just the answer to everything because it's not. So, on that note, I'm going to finish getting ready for work. As you can see, my head wrap is done. I'll do a little twirl for you guys so you can see. All right, so just, um, don't forget to like, comment, and um, subscribe to our YouTube page. Um, again, this is Alika Cray of The Tea signing off. And I will see you guys next week on The Tea. Bye, guys. As you can see, I changed my head wrap because <laughs> that other one was not working for me. But before I go, I also want to dedicate this video to my godmother. Um, God mommy, fairy God mommy, I love you because you have genuinely supported me and been there for me when I needed you. And sometimes I didn't want to hear it because of the way your delivery is, but I learned that that's just the best way to be. Just deliver it. Like, there's no right or wrong way to say things, just say it. And I love you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching my show <laughs> most importantly and i love you to pieces like two pieces like I, I can't like i just i wish i could preserve you so you could be here with me forever because i freaking love you to death and on that note bye again guys hello everybody and welcome to sessions with cray um, basically, Sessions with Cray is going to be one of the side episodes to the T. Um, basically, what I'll be doing is just recording, you know, just talking while I'm getting ready for work or if I'm getting ready or just whatever, you know, just to have a, a sidebar conversation with you guys. Um, was what we discussed on the show, actually. So this week, if you watch this week's episode of The Tea, if you didn't, stop this video, go watch it right now. Um, what we talked about was support. And I needed more to say, but we, I just couldn't say all of it and I couldn't think of everything I wanted to say. So I'm going to say it right now while I'm getting ready. So today, um, I'm actually getting ready for work. As you can see, my hair is tied up. I've actually been doing what I call wrap it up week. I've been leaving my hair... And I'm just gonna just put a wrap on. So 
let's get to it. So this week, um, what I wanted to talk about, so I want, like I said, I wanted to elaborate more on it. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my head wrap today because I've been doing epic failures all week. But, um, so what I wanted to discuss this week was, you know, to add on to the support. Um, and I feel as though some people confuse, ooh, some people confuse support. Give me one moment. I feel like some people confuse support for something like financial support. Like I just feel like instead of giving me the support, you think I'm like people will be like, I need you to support me. Essentially, that's the be 